Visit www.manifestedpublishers.com and download CPA block revision videos for May 2019 exams that are updated to include November 2018 sitting, featuring the best lecturers in the market. So the corporate governance looks at the entire organization uh, and looks at also how customers and suppliers will perceive the governance procedures. This one is type 1 error. While a type 2 error is when you accept a false hypothesis. This is called type 2 error. Now, there is what designates this uh, type 1 and type 2. There is what you call the confidence. Uh, welcome to this session. I remain you as Mr. Clement Kenodia. The question is anchored on work-life balance. Now, work-life balance as a concept attempts to, to look at the aspect of employees. Now this illustration, this session, we're going to look at an illustration where we are going to dispose the entire shareholding. Now both obita dicta and ratio decidendi form part of a decision of a court where the ratio decidendi is the decision part of the judgment. Times exponential of risk free rate times time times the natural log of d this is d1 d2 d2 then you're asking at what point does tax excess duty become due and payable in relation to a service an example of an exercisable service is like um, atm services we have three parts in this particular question, so let's start with question one. Uh, sorry, part A. Part A. Part A reads like this: Explain the meaning of appropriation act as provided under. Part a. Then ask yourself, who are you? Who are you in this question? In this question, if you go again, you'll hear you are the audit manager responsible. So the question says you are an audit manager. If you are an audit manager, you are supposed to be reporting to... In general, first of all, an M by N matrix is represented and want us to look on uh, the paper which was uh, done in November 2018, Advanced Financial uh, Reporting, and uh, we start with the uh, Manifested Public, Expanding Frontiers of Property.